Yo, what's going on, Lootube? Thought I'd hop on here. Never done one of these before. Thought I'd do a little bit of a movement. Not really even in that regard, but more so how do I play the game, what I'm thinking, what I always try to preach, what I try to instill, uh, all these type of things. Doesn't matter. Let's start off with the first thing. How the fuck do I hold my controller, okay? So, a lot of people do like the fucking z lanner fucking claw, whatever the fuck. <clears throat> no hate on it. If that's what you like, do it. But what I've gotten to is I hold the controller like a somewhat normal human being. I don't know if you guys can see this. But I'd say it doesn't matter how you hold your controller, as long as the main thing is you never take your thumbs off the jump, like the thumbstick. At least your right stick. Your right stick is, is like the biggest thing. Okay, so like that is like by far my biggest thing. My jumping, so that I can stay in that position, would be my normal shoot button or a, a, a ADS button, and then my slide button is my normal shoot button. And then all of it are ones because they shoot faster. Maybe I didn't know that the front triggers they actually are able to shoot faster than the back ones because it's less time to push down. Right, let's start with a little bit of movement. So you got someone like this, right? The, th the last thing you want to do is stay vertical on with them, right? Like, straight and straight with them. You, that's the worst thing you could ever do because they're probably playing on like 1-1 one, one cents to the point where you stay in that kind of area, you're dead because they have such aim assist. But if you get to the sides of them, like the turn their thing, that's when it kind of fucks with that aim assist. I understand that's probably not anything new at this point, but for anybody wondering, it's always a slide out to the side or just past them. Like, say the character's right here. Say the character, you want to go, like, past them, but not, like, too far out, because then that makes it easy for them. You want to be kind of, like, so close to them still that, like, they get kind of, like, bottlenecked. Like, what? You want to be, like, in there, you know what I mean? Like, you don't want to be, like, super... People always fling out way too far, like, where they're, like, and then that's the person. You want to be kind of, like, in with them still at the same time. That's like the next thing. Um, shooting. Hold on. Shooting. This is a big one. A lot of people don't realize yourself. this. Some people just hop on the game, right? It's fucking naughty at gaming, right? Where like they don't even have their hand on the Okay. Got it. Um, the craziest part is with Call of Duty and games alike. If you use your left stick, the one that you move around with, if you're moving the same time that you're aiming down, okay, you see what I'm talking about? As long, and you're moving the right stick, okay? Every recoil pattern, okay? It's going to go up to the right, to some extent. So if you're always aiming down, the thing will be like dead center, like watch. Like watch. Okay? Versus the fucking knee. Okay, so that's a huge thing as well. Um, big movement thing would be drop shotting now. If you're able to get down. This is a big which that's just simply holding down and then just jumps back up. But a lot of people are thinking like if a jump up, it's a sprint, it's a sprint. Sprint and you'll get out of it. And we'll cancel the animation. Um next big big tip I would give to at least anybody would be kind of get a read for the room before you just run in there. Like say you know one person's in. We know for a fact one person's in our little room over here. So we're thinking in our head, okay, we got one person in there. But what if you get like halfway in and then you realize there's two people in here? So if anything, try to like wait for him to come out or run out or whatever. Get the one down and then don't full kill him right away. See if a teammate runs for the res. Because generally speaking, a lot of these people will like be like, oh, I don't know where I got shot from. Come and get me. Go for the res. Big as big as play the down. You know what I mean? Like, use him as kind of like a tell to try to help. Then it looks like a rock on the team that you're fighting. So then they're all thinking, oh, they got little Johnny up from the fucking grave, right? That's one of the big things. Another one, again, a lot of people don't use this one, okay? Say you're on a mantle sub like that, okay? Mantle onto it, and then mantle off, okay? It's like the best thing ever because it's like, say you're on this, right? The character, when they come around the corner, they're going to see like this like little head peeking off this right real quick. And they're going to think you're just going to keep playing the head glitch, which like anyone in the right mind. Right? But if you say you're on this and then you jump out, 
the last thing they're expecting is this little thing that has so much cover to then be over here for some reason. Like, they're never going to expect that. Another big thing, because there's no audio, right? I'd say little to no audio at this point in time, would be always lay down where you know they can't see you to some extent. Like, say someone's going to be running past here, you have an idea, get the first down, down come back to the spot, You just gotta keep like um, using your areas for it. Like, say you have a good spot on the map of like whatever mode you're playing. You know this area, play it, man. Like if you have an area where you know, okay, there's a corner over here. I can play this shit. Play the fucking corner. You have to go like 24/7, like running around like a maniac all the time. I'd say 75% of the time you're doing that. 75% you're running away from people, you're trying to get engaged. But there's got to be that 25% where you're still kind of like reading the room, getting to read, trying to get one knock. Because you can't go that 100% for the full four men. You can't. You got to get at least two down before you can get that crazy kill. There's no way you're going to ever stand a chance, okay? That's a big, big tip. The last thing, very, very last thing, okay? Say someone's way over here. Say someone is like dead set way the fuck over there, okay? The last thing in the world you want to do is every in my heart. Hold the trigger down on them, okay? Don't get me wrong, if there's like an OP bullet in the gun, majority of the time, you want to kind of gauge it. Get the first shot to hit. This is the biggest thing in Call of Duty, okay? You're going to get the first bullet to land. If you can get the first bullet to land, then it's going to have that kind of reference point of, okay, I hit the body, then the aim assist kind of sticks to it at that point. You kind of got to, like, find it, and then you can start shooting. Or, biggest thing ever, you should know better, bitch, you pendejo! You line up with him, right? That is, that's where people, a lot of people are fucked up. You're, like, aiming down the site, and you're like, oh, 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 oh. Horrible idea. What you want to do is, see you guys in there. You want to line up, aim down site. Oh, fuck, where'd this guy come from? Wanna... But the idea is that, like, you want to have it where you're aiming down in the same place as you're shooting. You're not like, you're kind of, say I want to have it for this plant. I'm going to set it up where my white dot goes there and then I'm aiming in at the exact same time. That is where you'll get the max, and I mean it like, it's almost like broken how much aim assist you get. It's almost like Cronus level, where you kind of like, you just take on you, instead of going, kind of keep shooting till I hit him, I don't want to get it where you land at the same time. I know 99% of you guys that watch my videos, is this is Good work. absolute bub kiss. you guys don't need this information, but for some of you guys out there, I mean, even some of you guys are insanely cracked, I hope a couple of these things might be able to help, I, I use these things every single day when I play the game, there's not one time that I'm not using these fundamentals, it's literally like bread and butter if you're playing this game, especially like a solo squad kind of thing where it's like, this, things are stacked against you to some extent, so please guys. Do me a favor, if this did help, send it to somebody else that it might help. If anything, tell me some tips, what you might do, and all that. I want you guys to know, you're handsome, you're sexy, and happy holidays.